What's going on guys? Welcome back to God Driven TV with your boy LaShawn Taylor. Man. Welcome back, family. If you're new here, man, I appreciate you for tuning in. Uh, stay a while, you know? Stay a while. Anyway, today we're gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the print then cut feature using your Cricut device. Alright? That device comes, I mean that feature comes in handy. When you're doing like t-shirt, picture prints, you know, just different stuff like that. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I get it down. All right. And we're going to go ahead and get straight into this video. <laughs> All right, guys. So the picture I chose was this picture of SpongeBob in the Jordan Retro 4 Lightning sneakers. I chose this picture basically because I actually have these Retro 4s. And they're not the easiest sneaker to match stuff up with, so we're gonna create a shirt based off the sh based off the shoe. All right. So I got this SpongeBob picture right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make it the biggest it can be for the print cut. So I'm gonna just go ahead and and hit the up arrow on the width side, and as you can see, it's getting bigger. Getting bigger, I'm going to move it up just a little bit. It's getting bigger. All right, now we see that how this icon came up next to the picture, say it's like a caution icon, basically letting us know that it exceeded the uh, required measurement. So you got to hit the arrow down just a little bit about one as you can see it went it went away again so this is the biggest we can do on as a uh, print cut all right so I'm gonna go ahead and click make it all right so we got it on our mat and again ladies and gentlemen please forgive me the I'm currently working on getting a new laptop but the laptop that I'm working off of right now does not allow me to do screen record that's why you see me holding the camera to uh, to the screen all right, but um, as you can see, we see uh, SpongeBob. We see the way he's laid out on the mat. Uh, and we're gonna remember how he's laid out because the way that he's laid, the way that the picture is laid on the mat, we gotta make sure that our, uh, when we print it up, that it's on the mat the same exact way. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. And then we're gonna hit, once it's finished loading, we're gonna hit send to printer. Now when you do print, then cut, you wanna, what I like to do is make sure that the bleed is on, that way it doesn't mess up the cut. The printer that I am using is the Epson Workforce uh, 7710. All right, and then it's finished loading. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the print button and it's gonna uh, send it straight to my printer. Okay, and the paper that I'll be using is this dark fabric transfer paper, pen, pen plus gear. You can pick this up at your local Walmart. Now this brand is on the cheaper side compared to other brands, but it is uh, pretty convenient. Uh, comes with 10 sheets inside and it's it is about it's around ten dollars at Walmart So it's pretty convenient. That's why I do I do pick this up pretty often. All right guys So we got it printed out And like I told you before The way that it is on the mat on the computer is the exact same way that you want to place it onto your Cricut mat Make sure it's at the corner So that way when it's reading and and you know configuring it can get the the cut that you desire it to get and it doesn't get a whole different cut from it all right so from our computer 
we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and hit principal iron on dark as the material that we wanted to cut this is very important you want to make sure that you note this because if it's not on the correct material it will definitely mess up the cut it may not even read it guys so here's our finished cut and what we're gonna go ahead and do is start weeding out the material the unneeded material so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my weeder you're gonna come at the edge and start peeling up and once you get the corner it pretty much comes up pretty easily All right. tear it away everything that you don't need now this cut has like inside parts so what you want to do is just go ahead and grab your weeder again and get the inside parts out. Okay. And here's how it looks after you do that. Everything is cut out pretty perfect. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start prepping our t-shirt. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get our, get all the moisture out of our t-shirt. All right, so because everything is together, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the end and I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off of the paper and I'll place it where I desire it to be pressed at. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this paper that is supplied in the pack over the cut. So we're using our Cricut Easy Brush 2. I got the degree set to 375 and I'll be pressing it for about 20 seconds. All right, so we have to wait for a cold peel. So we're gonna go ahead and just lift this up. All right, family. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you can use it in your own uh, print and cut projects. But yo, y'all remember to like, comment subscribe uh don't be afraid to ask questions man but yo stay tuned for the next video we're gonna continue to go up from here because you already know y'all stay safe out here